This is at Burr Castle. And that's the telescope. Hey students, this is the telescope of the Earl of Ross who used it to investigate the spiral nebula, uh, as we learn in class, uh, well, to investigate the nebula and then discovered that they had a spiral structure. Um, and he used this giant telescope to do it. It's a 72 inch mirror. And it is made, as you can see, the, the, the tube of the telescope is made like a giant barrel. Um, it has staves and hoops. So uh, somebody in the barrel making business uh, gave some engineering advice on how to put this thing together. So here we go. We're going to look at what some of the parts of this thing do, does. Okay, first of all, that right there looks like the eyepiece. And these cables, I'm guessing, are involved in the focusing mechanism. All right. The thing was raised and lowered, and of course, oops, and of course we'll get up close on the barrel nature of the tube of the telescope. You can see the individual staves and then the, the, the metal hoops that go around it. So you can see this thing was built like a, 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 a giant bur bourbon barrel. Um, then there's these cables, they're chains, they go up there, and you can see there's another one going up to there, right? So, and what they did was lifted the telescope up, right? To the there's a pulley up there, back off, and then there is a weight there, a counterweight. So that pulley lifted the whole thing and here's the other side pulling on the other side and that would lift the telescope up so it could be pointed up to the, up higher in the sky or lower in the sky of course if you were going to observe with this telescope and you were going to be at that eyepiece i just showed you well if the eyepiece was raised up then you were going to have to be raised up so in order to make that work they have this ladder here and this ladder here and if you notice, these ladders also have counterweights. There's a counterweight. And there is a metal rail right there. Metal rail runs up. And what is that for? That is because this entire observing platform that you're seeing right here, this entire platform raised up. And this little observing platform stepper on her cage went with it so this entire thing okay what you're seeing from there to here all right this whole thing rose and rose on those rails up the and down on the ladder and then this piece right here was adjusted on those rails by which i mean those rails right there, okay. Any of you who like Victorian engineering or steampunk fiction, you probably will like this stuff because that's just what this is. Um, so then this would be slid over to the telescope while this entire thing would rise up and down on the ladder rails so that you could put somebody at the eyepiece to watch where, so wherever the telescope was up and down that you could, you could uh, observe. Meanwhile, to move the telescope back and forth, there was this gear mechanism here. Okay. And that moved it back and forth on that rail. You can see it's got markings of 30, 20, and so forth across. So those teeth uh, were used to, to, to move the telescope this way 
or this way. Now, how did that work? See this rod that comes out of here to that gear right there, and that gear right there is attached to a pole right there. So, the person at the eyepiece, I'm guessing, they had, they had a crank attached to that, and so as stuff moved across the sky from east to west, and once you get the telescope up to the height it was supposed to be, then you could turn that crank, which turned that gear, which turned that gear, which ran that rod, which went down and engaged in the teeth on that thing right there. Come on, camera, focus, would you? Focus. There we are, those teeth. Okay, and moved the whole thing east to west. So, turn a crank on that. That rod turns that gear. That worm gear turns that gear. That gear runs that rod. That engages those teeth, and that moves the whole thing like this or like this as you wish to adjust it. Fortunately, they have a mock-up of how this whole thing works in their museum, and we can run it to give some idea of how this, how this whole operation would go. Now here's the back view of the telescope, the counterweights that lift it. You can see that the metal is circular track. All oh, the sun's getting me kind of kind of bad there, but that is all involved in the aiming of the telescope. Now that winch is used to lift it. Now that looks like that's that that's a modern replacement winch. I'm guessing that that guy is the original winch for lifting this thing up. And it was probably hand cranked to uh, to make it go. Maybe not. Maybe not. It might have been some steam powered thing. But that's probably a modern one. If you look at it, there's a cable that's coming out of that winch. And it goes up, up, up into that pulley on that superstructure there. And then there's a cable that goes back down and to the telescope to lift it up. And then, of course, there's the counterweights and stuff that help pull it up, too. This must have required a lot of people to make the whole operation work. Now, here is the model that shows the workings of this telescope and you can see it's got the model has little here's the counterweights there going up to a pulley there which goes down to the tube here and then there's the the one that goes all the way back to the superstructure there then down to the winch and the ground over there which were all shown outside and now let's see this thing move and, all right, let's see if it can go up. Yeah. Keep going. All the way up. Is that as far as it goes? Okay, let's go down. Okay. Now let's take it up again. Okay, stop. And now let's go left and right, which is, would be done by cranking those cranks and gears and moving that, that, uh, all, all those uh, teeth. Okay, push it. That's one way. And the other. All right. And keep in mind, of course, that uh, you can hear motors whine on this model, but on the real one, it would have all been done with people power. I think. Okay, now earlier I said that that observing cage, okay, showed this before. Right. So, you're the observer. You need to be at that eyepiece. You're going to be standing in this cage, which once you take this telescope, put it up to wherever about it's supposed to be up there and, you know, to aim up in the sky, you have to get this cage over here to the right size, and then you have to get this whole thing up to the telescope. So, now, so you can see where it rides 
here. Chain runs it up along that track up to there. There's a counterweight right. Where is it? There it is. Focus camera. There. Right. So that, by moving on there, lift up, that takes this whole observing platform with its little rails. Rail there. Rail there. That brings that cage and lets it come forward and back. All right. All of this then can all be raised up and down to however, to whatever height is needed for when this telescope is pointed. And I'm guessing that when they got the telescope up really high, so if it was pointing at something that is up, straight up in the sky, then you got and went and climbed out on that thing. Holy cow. Oh yeah. And note that thing has its own mechanism for sliding back and forth so they can move that out to the telescope. On uh, see there's a wheel there and wheels there and wheel there's a wheel there that that all rides on. There's a lots and lots of gears and pulleys and, and stuff made out of wood and metal for moving all this. And you better darn uh, well trust the people who built all this as you go climbing out on it. Yeah, because you can see from the gear mechanism here, this whole thing, that all that whole thing can just slide out, so they can. So when you get this, take the telescope. Where's the telescope? There's the telescope. Okay, so you take the telescope, you point it up so it's high up in the sky, and then you got to take that and and move it out. Okay, because you can't lift this thing up that high anymore. So for really high up stuff, you got to climb up on that thing and then pull that thing out to be out there where the telescope is. So, yeah, I, I, that probably give me the heebie-jeebies. I'm afraid of heights.